Hello and welcome to this video on, I think it's probably one of the most maligned and hated guitar amps of all time, which is, I think, most unfortunate. And so we'll get into it. We'll talk about why that is and why it's also simultaneously probably one of the most popular practice guitar amps ever made. It's a bit of a dichotomy there, but hey, it's good fun, isn't it? That's why we're all guitar players to talk about all this rubbish. And um, yeah, some good fun while we're doing it. So this is the Line 6 Spider 2. This was introduced a number of years ago. You can still pick up one of these. Um, they go really, really cheap nowadays. And um, I think it's well worth investigating because this is actually a very, very good amp indeed. If you're at home, if you're practicing, um, it's very useful um, if you're just going to have a bit of a jam as well. It's got quite a nice chunky 15 watt speaker in there. It's an 8 inch speaker. It sounds really good, actually. I think most of the criticism isn't necessarily on the clean sound. It's on the crunch and the metal sounds, which, although they might not be the best, they do sound pretty decent. They're absolutely serviceable um, by any stretch. And given the cost of these amps now, these are second hand and they cost next to nothing. You can pick these up so cheap. Um, so this versus like a Boss Katana or something. Boss Katana clearly is really an awesome amp. It's probably one of the best ones ever made in terms of um, guitar practice at home sort of job. But this one is good. So we'll switch it on and we'll get straight into some sounds because I am playing my PRS SE Pauls guitar, which you know, sounds good by itself. Let's not mess about. It's a very good guitar. And I'm plugging it into this, which I don't know, people hate. But there you go. So we'll talk about some of the functions on here as well and how you can mix and match. It's got a little bit of a brain in here, probably a little battery or something to remember some of what you choose up here. You can choose some of the commands on this, um, on these buttons to set things up how you want. Now, the default is that it gives you this supposedly clean. The default on that is actually this. Which kind of has a bit of kind of tremolo weirdness and a little bit of reverb and all that sort of stuff. So it's hardly clean, but um, you know, hey, courses for courses. You can press it again. We should change it, but hey. This is one of the criticisms I have of this amp. It is finickety. Um, this one is anyway. You might have a different experience. It can be a bit finickety when you're switching some of this. Ah. Okay, so the tremolo's, the tremolo's gone. We've, we've just got reverb. Now what you can do is you can save your own patch. So if you... say let's for example just so that we know so we got chorus we've got a bit of reverb so let's say that i like that if i press this button down and hold it for like a couple of seconds it blinks you might have seen that let me just do it again and you can see and it blinks boom then you saved it and if i press it again it's gone to that it's gone to that other sound Press it again. See what I mean about it being finickety? <laughs> this is what, what might make you hate this sound. But it ain't the way it sounds, because it sounds good. Here we go. So crunch. Doesn't really sound too bad. Um, it's not going to knock your socks off. <laughs> Sounds all right. I'll turn the turn the reverb off because that's too much. <laughs> So you can hear, hear what it's done there. It's kind of, uh, this is, should be the channel volume. So the channel, the volume of each of these. And it has added some weirdness in there. Like, which I, you know, it started off just normal crunch. But it 
just added in some maybe phaser in there despite it being off <laughs> yeah it is finickety i won't lie but it is I, I do like it once you've got it where you want it to be and you don't touch it then it's great and it's you know it is ah there we go so normal okay and then we go to metal It's actually quite a fat metal sound. I hope that comes across. It does sound quite decent, actually. sound too bad it actually sounds pretty decent insane <laughs> uh, that's insane i'd say that's pretty accurate sounds pretty insane to me um so yeah it's got your drive on there so you can turn it up let's get off insane because that's too much phaser tremolo and you can control that here let's see. i mean to be fair how many people are really going to use that but just now my personal advice and the way i have been using this amp as you can see these buttons and maybe the brain in here maybe it's gone a bit crazy in its old age this amp i don't know i'd love to hear that i'd love to know what your experiences are um but the brain in here can go a little bit funky and it can start adding some weird stuff the best thing and what i tend what i've done with this amp is i always just go clean and i add on any of my effects via pedals afterwards i don't actually tend to mess with this with any of this stuff and it does take pedals really nicely it sounds it sounds very very good it's a nice sounding amp so you know if you're in the market for one of these i'd say you know investigate i say have your um expectations you know sort of set to moderate um but given that these things are if you shop around they are so cheap now it's actually a really cool thing i just think it's best used as um you know just the foundation to stick with your own pedal board and to have some fun with because if you start messing about with this and if you start saving modes on here then you might get into some funky stuff now it might have it might be that it's got a battery in here and it might be that in this one maybe that battery is low or maybe it's having a bit of a hard time or something um but you know it is what it is um it has the cd mp3 in there you can record out with it i have used it actually to um plug straight into my um into my computer and record through door this way it does sound quite good um you know the tone is is fairly decent it does retain a fair amount of the juice from this um it sounds pretty good so overall yeah that's those are my thoughts on it i mean you should, really shouldn't be pay, pay, be paying very much for this um these days but it's a nice little app if you can find my second hand so there you are it's not the piece of um crap that a lot of people say it is decent it sounds very nice in the room um but it is finickety oh yes it is finickety and um yeah there you go that's it there's the real truth that's it done all right so like subscribe comment all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next one